Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are safe and sound and your morale is high. Um, we got a lot of fight ahead of us. A lot of battles, uh, but I believe possibly we've already won. So the guy on the left, as you well know, is Piers Corbin, and we're still doing a series of episodes about him. So I believe this is the fifth now, okay? So here we see him doing his usual, um, you know, alpha male thing where he takes on a whole battalion of police. Um, but let's look at someone in particular who's connected to him. One second. So, the man I'm talking about, is this one here okay so let me zoom in and as you can see there he's right there in the conflict um on the 26th of september trafalgar square 2020 he's wearing a t-shirt that says simply the mask is stupid okay so that's the t-shirt that he's chosen to wear on a very important day something very sort of simplistic like that uh, we'll come back to that in a bit, um, but as you can see there, he's right next to Grey Bleeder. For those who don't know, this is Grey Bleeder here, um, who, you know, we've seen in countless, countless dodgy events that look totally fake. Um, so, yeah, so he is right in the midst of everything, this guy here. So the guy with the mask is stupid T-shirt is in the middle of this, okay? So therefore, let's have a look where else we've seen him, shall we? Okay, so here's a picture of Piers Corbin, obviously, as well, looking very dapper and, you know, with the times and, you know, very reliable. Um, but anyway, so on the left, you've actually got the T-shirt that he had, the banner, is on that banner now. So it says, the mask is stupid. And as you can see, it's just it's the same guy, obviously without the cap. Um, he wears the cap uh, to, you know, to change how he looks as well now and then. So he's got the mask is stupid banner before he was wearing it on a T-shirt. Here he is right next to Piers Corbin. And while we're looking at this photo, obviously you can see here Jeff Wyatt. Now I have made a video about him as well. Very interesting character indeed. For example, did you know he was a rally driver? No, you didn't. I didn't until I looked into it, but there you go. Unless it's all made up and it's just building a legend, you know, it's possible. Um, but if you look at his banner, and I will be making a video specifically about banners because they're very interesting what they've chosen to put on these banners. So stop Nazification of UK. Now, me personally, I don't believe that's the right way to go about things. I think that will scare people off. Um, if you want to welcome them to your movement, what you need to do is be more appealing. Uh, tell the truth, but don't make it so severe and scary. And, you know, you're talking about Nazis, for goodness sake, you know, that everyone's been trained to think alike, you know, you know, devils and stuff. So, yeah, it, it's basically fear-mongering on a banner um, he also has the banner that says this is now tyranny but on this occasion he's chosen to rock the stop nazification of uk also on the left you see that we are the truth banner um so i'm not really too sure about that but yeah so again you've got dapper peers there and then the mask is stupid guy there. So that's one connection to him here. And if you watched my other Piers Corbin video, um, you will see this photo as well, where he's right next to Piers Corbin. And as you can see, he's wearing the Flat Earth t-shirt. I'm not going to get into that. We've already made a video about that. So there's two occasions where you can see that he's definitely connected to Piers Corbin. And as I said, he's also in that scuffle there. And like I said, I don't particularly think that's a decent t-shirt um, it's very simplistic what you would want to put is um, there's no need to wear a mask because xyz but just to say the mask is stupid is just sort of almost like um, pr you know provoking people uh, you know people might wear the mask and think oh he's insulting me he thinks I'm stupid now that might be the case but I think again if you want someone on your movement you don't insult them so there you go again more proof that these people they pretend that they're, they've got um, you know everyone's interests in uh, at heart but if you're being sort of negative and fear-mongering then I have to question that okay um, so, 
also here is another one of Piers Corbin's connections and I've again I've made a video with this lady there as well and as you can see here with the you know here right yeah at the bottom here again involved in the scuffles as well okay so right at the center of things so all these people who were connected to Piers Corbin they either get arrested they either get attacked um, or they're some in some other fake or very dodgy and contentious looking event yeah you know the, the examples are still coming and that's how i'm able to make you know so many episodes of the series um, and just for those who don't know again here's gray bleeder wearing his beautiful earpiece anyone who wants to sort of defend that tyrant finder did try to defend that literally live on on uh, youtube um and he actually mentioned to him do you know they they call you gray bleeder john overkill calls you gray bleeder so you know they actually make videos um, about my videos to these people and he's always there and as you can see he makes sure that he's always near the banner so that whenever there's a photo opportunity as you can see boom right in there okay again look that bloody banner oh yeah and so he, there's the other guy sorry there's the guy again yeah the one with the flat earth t-shirt look he's where he's got a cap on this time right there in the middle yeah so again he's he's a major part that this guy so he wears the mask, his stupid t-shirt. He wears the flat earth t-shirt as well. He's connected to Piers Corbin. He's standing right here next to Tapman and Grey Bleeder, who we've made, well, I've made many videos about. Also connected to Piers Corbin is this guy here, Resistance GB and Enfield. So conservative councillor suspended over being racist, basically, yeah, making racist remarks. And here he is looking like a total fake and a fraud. And people who are connected to this guy and who back him up, then shame on you. I don't know how you can actually sleep. And the money they've given you is worth nothing. It'll be worth nothing one day. So it's just, you better start planning because people will be coming for you. And it won't be me because I have no, I bear no ill harm to anyone, you know. I try my best to just get on with my life and make sure that we, I enhance my family's life and other people's lives and they do the same for me. And I love my family and I love my community and I love humanity. Simple as that. Nothing's going to stop that, do you understand? Nothing. And then, you know, to close it, just to another picture, yeah, just to show you how stupid this whole Piers Corbin movement and this absolute joke, he's associated with absolute clowns and actors and fakes and frauds, and you know who you are as well, the people who are online and back these people up as well, you know, so-called truthers who have 9-11 in their name who were backing up people like subject access and tyrant finder and resistance gb when you know that they film fake events and you're probably an actor as well it's disgusting disgusting and anyone who anyone who makes a channel and harbors all these people together <laughs> Thanks for doing that, because now you're all there. It's basically like all the snakes have found the same sort of rock to crawl under. So it's a lot easier just to mon <laughs> just to keep them away out of my sight. I don't watch any of your content. I don't check for that. I don't have energy for that. You're just waste men. And uh, yeah, forget that. So yeah, again, look. So you've got Piers Corbin here. And then look at this guy who's holding the banner. I call him a guy. He's wearing this thing around his waist, yeah. And then also he's got the mask on his face, wrapped around his chin. So on the banner here, it says end masks. And then here, the guy who's actually holding it has got a mask on. You couldn't, you couldn't make this crap up, could you guys? And I believe that Spectrum Rectum just above there with his Alice Band in there. I think I could be wrong because um, he's always following Piers Corbin and... Um, high cuckoo around there's a lot of sort of young lads without girlfriends who were following Piers Corbin and high cuckoo around is a bit worrying like I said no girlfriends yeah and when you're rocking the Alice band and you're making your own costumes to go to speaker's corner um and you won't come on the panel because you're watching Breaking Bad with your dad then yeah <laughs> anyway little inside joke sir um right so yeah in summary, you got Piers Corbin again looking like an idiot, and the person holding his banner looking like a total moron with a mask, even though the banner says end masks on it. 
Piers Corbyn is associated to fakes like this Resistance GB. Anyone who defends Resistance GB is connected to him. You're part of this. You're an enabler and basically you're a traitor to humanity and you allow uh, events, uh, you could say, a domestic state-sponsored terrorism. Here's Piers Corbyn's banner that you see him everywhere with and you've got all these reprobates holding it as well, like Tatman there. Jeff Wyatt with his Nazification UK. The guy on the left with the mask is stupid. Piers Corbyn looking like um, a man who gets all the ladies. Actually, no, he doesn't. He looks like he's just been dug out of a grave. Um, Grey Bleeder, again, standing by the banner. Gets picked up by all the major people taking photos, obviously. And there he is with his earpiece. Um, again, Tarrant Finder tried to say that it wasn't an earpiece, that it was actually a radio with music. <laughs> Because, you know, people listen to music when they go on demos and they're in the middle of riots and stuff like that, you know. Of course they do. And there's Piers Corbyn's mate with the Flat Earth t-shirt and the Sports Direct shopping bag. A lot of these people always have these shopping bags and I've got a, a very interesting video on as to why that might be. There's Piers Corbyn's redhead. The one who supposedly got arrested as well. There she is in the middle of the scuffle. Just like Piers Corbyn's right hand man here. Wearing the mask is stupid t-shirt. Again. What a load of rubbish. So. I think that is pretty interesting video and we'll leave it with a picture of Piers Corbyn and some Harry Krishnas because that's what we always like to end the night with so this has been John Overkill this is Piers Corbyn part 5 out of 73 um, the introduction of the mask is stupid t-shirt man okay so I hope you found it interesting um, I hope everyone's morale is okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep strong. Nothing's going to stop us. We have the truth on our side. And I got, I got me and other people on our team just finding stuff after stuff. We could make videos. We could make about 10 videos a day, guys. Sorry, but we could. Anyway, peace for now. Know you normal. Unite the people to fight the evil. This is bon John Overkill and we are over and out. Peace and blessings, liberty and justice for all. Knowledge is power. Take care, everyone. Peace.